بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد So what is the hukum regarding being if a person is sick while fasting? One of the things regarding fasting is that one of the conditions is qudra wa istita'a ilay, meaning that a person has the ability and they're able to fast, and that that's a condition for all acts of ibadah, all acts of worship. And the evidence for that from the Quran is where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها إلا وسعها. That Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that He does not place a burden upon any soul except that He makes a way out. And from the ijma of the ulama, meaning it's consensus that the person who is sick or that a person who has uh, who is unable to fast does not have to fast so that is the religion of islam and then the inability to fast is divided into two types there is the immediate inability you know for something that has come up for example, someone has gotten a severe cold or, or what have you, some sort of sickness that prevents them from fasting. And then there's the permanent sickness or illness, you know, like a chronic illness which prevents a person from fasting. So those are the two types of edges. The ajiz, which is something sudden, it is something, it is related to an illness or the inability to fast because of something which is just come up, something that is temporary. And that could be because uh, because of illness, a temporary illness as we mentioned, possibly, uh, or, or some other thing in which there is hope that the illness will go away. There's a good chance the illness will disappear. And related to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَنْ كَانَ مَرِيدًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرًا فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَامٍ أُخْرَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah that whoever is sick or traveling, or that they're traveling, then it is required to for them to make it up on other days, meaning that the only thing upon them for breaking their fast, for example, if you have a, a, a serious uh, cold or something that prevents you from fast, some sort of illness, then in that situation, you would only need to make up your fast after the month of Ramadan. You would make up the, day th the days that you missed due to your illness. Or for traveling, for example, if you traveled somewhere and you miss two days of fasting due to the difficulty you found in traveling, then in that situation, you would make up those two days that you missed. Then, related to the other more permanent sickness, in that situation, a person is required to make up, or if a person due to their, sil uh, their illness, they're unable to fast, they're unable to make it up as well, then for every day, they must feed a poor person. And that is the expiation for that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُطِيقُونَ فِدْيَةٌ تَعَامٌ مِسْكِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, for those who uh, are able, then who... Th وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُتِيقُونَ فِدْيَةٌ تَعَامُ الْمِسْكِينَ So those who are, they were unable to fast, and they are able to pay the, the fidya, then they must pay, feed a, uh, a poor person for every day that they missed of fasting. 
Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma said related to this, he said, Huwa Shaykh Kabir, wa mar'ata kabira, la yastithi'ani an yasoma, fal yata'ma, makan kulli yawm miskeen. So Ibn Abbas said, explaining, given the tafsir for that ayah, he said, it is related to the man, the, the elderly man or the elderly woman, which is unable to fast, and so that every day they pay, they feed a, a, a poor person. So that is the ni'mah and the mercy of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his, his religion, that he doesn't make a difficulty greater than we have strength to bear. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and bless us to be of those who to fast and have our fasting accepted this holy month. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم